Hi, good morning and welcome back. It's January 20th. It's Thursday and I'm going to do a couple of market updates. Uh, but first I want to mention that uh, we're going to uh, be putting on another seminar uh, July 25th. It's 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And one of the things we'll do is, is introduce some uh, upgrades to the software for TradeStation and Multicharts and how that software upgrade is going to help us identify trades a little easier, stay in the trade until target areas, uh, basically identifying where these yes or no patterns are, are forming. And uh, then we'll, we'll talk about the Drummond methodology in general. So if you're new to this, this would be a good opportunity to learn about these multiple time frame overlays and the Drummond lines and, and how we integrate all this stuff to make a very, very good uh, uh, prediction uh, where we can anticipate a market to move and take some action. So first up is the euro and on the monthly chart here, I've drawn in the five, two down and the six, one down. So we're in a target area for some higher time period resistance along with, you can see this yellow line is the uh, quarterly envelope top. Uh, last week we had the five, nine extension held on close and now markets in the, this is the nearby resistance area, that white dotted line. And we've come down and we're, we're sitting on top of the quarterly envelope top. Now on the daily chart, as anticipated, we did get the congestion bar entrance down and we're working in uh, daily congestion, probably daily target. There's one for today. There's the one, one low. And then what we're interested in is, is seeing this market get down here and how it, how it uh, navigates that area. So today, again, uh, there are a couple of targets and then uh, maybe closing out the week, we're looking for it to come down into this area, which is the weekly envelope top and monthly envelope top. This set of charts, the S&P E-mini, uh, you know, I've, I've been looking for this market to stall out and start to turn lower. And, and maybe that's just a, some bias because I'm, I'm looking around me in these absolute dumpster fires that are going on in terms of polit politically and uh, economically and thinking that this rally is, is a little long in the tooth. Uh, we, we can see on the weekly chart, it hit the 5.2 down and it's turned down a little bit from there. And today we have a cluster of resistance up here in the, in the 46.20 area. And we're, all, we're starting to move inside the envelope on the daily chart. So this is an early indication that uh, we might be you know, moving into a PL dot refresh on the higher time periods. Uh, so uh, it's still too early to tell and I'm going to take a look at the NASDAQ next and it seems to be painting a little bit clearer picture about the strength of the move. So over here on the left on the NASDAQ is the monthly chart and I've turned on the uh, indicators for the drum and lines and this is the 5-2 down and right below that is the 5-1 down and that's what this box over here on the daily and on the hourly chart show is that uh, that cluster of resistance. And for the weekly, there would be another five, two down up above where we are. But uh, the market is on the daily chart has at least held at the one, one high yesterday. And now it's reversing down. It looks like it's gapped down a little bit from the overnight and it's pushing down below the daily PL dot. And you can see that a little bit more clearly here on the hourly chart. So now the hourly is starting to, to, to bounce at 300 minute uh, PL dot right here. This is the 300 minute envelope top. And then way up here is the daily envelope top. So the, uh, the range for the day is somewhere between here and here. How it navigates down here, then it puts uh, the envelope top for the weekly in play. So right now I'm saying, I'm anticipating that this, this market has starting to fizzle out and it's going to start to push down and we'll see how that plays out. And I'll update this uh, in it perhaps tomorrow morning if we do get a decent sized move. That's it for this morning. Again, uh, I'll put a link to our website where you can register for the webinars in the description of this video. And I'd love to see you next week. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.